Yo guys, welcome back to King Owls. Dennis McCann has just drew to Baluta, and what an absolute war that was. What a fight it was. Honestly, amazing, amazing, amazing fight, to be completely honest with you. Sorry about the lighting, by the way. It's just that the light from in the room that I am in now screws up the camera on my laptop, so it's awful, so I need to use the torch. But yeah, anyway, great, great, great fight that we just saw. They did have to end it early, though, due to a Dennis McCann, um, well, due to an accidental head clash, and then Dennis McCann got cut, so they had to end it early. Uh, in the middle of round nine, but yeah, I think a draw, in my opinion, is probably the right decision. That is why I do think I think a draw is the right decision, and I personally can't argue with it. This is how I scored the fight and stuff. So I gave like round one, I gave that to, a ten nine to Dennis McCann. I think he started off really well with the jab, got the uppercut going really well, but Baluta did end up landing a good overhand in that fight because I do think that Dennis McCann. The thing is with him, he leaves his chin a little bit too high for my liking. Needs to make it lower. Otherwise, when you keep on moving up the levels, you're going to get caught and you're going to get knocked out. He did show a good chin today, though. But just to play it safe, keep that chin lower. You had it way too high, uh, Dennis McCann. And to be fair, I think that was his main issue today. Apart from that, I feel like he looked decent. It was a really good fight today what a war it was but yeah round two i gave it 10-9 baluta baluta landed some great free right hands in this dennis mccann took it really well on the chin but you know he wouldn't have got hit with him that much if he just kept his chin lower because dennis mccann was moving around really well work showing you know his angle work working that really well and footwork looking good as well from dennis mccann in round so but, you know, I did end up giving it to Baluta because he landed the better shots in round two. Round three, I gave it to Dennis McCann. A very close round. This was probably the best round of the fight. Baluta took, like, the first minute of that of that round. But McCann came out really strong uh, for the, for the the in the next two minutes after Baluta had a bit of a turning off from the ref. So I did end up giving it to McCann. Landed the jab really well. Flush on Baluta a lot of times. And the uppercut of Dennis McCann is really good. And I do think that the body body work of Dennis McCann you know I think you need to watch out for it because I think it's really underrated his work that he does to the body of his opponents work uh yeah works it really well so yeah I gave that round round three to Dennis McCann but it could go either way round four I gave to Dennis McCann working the angles really well moving around well but he did get hit a bit too much though but I did end up giving it to McCann though he just he was boxing well in round four. So that round four goes to Dennis McCann. Round five, I ended up giving it to Baluta. Good round. Baluta, uh, Baluta was landing the better shots in that round, which I think, you know, kind of would sway you. But McCann was timing himself really well, and he was doing that throughout the fight, timing himself really, really well. In round six, I gave it to Dennis McCann. He was landing the better shots, working the angles really well. But Baluta was there trying to slug it out. But... Um, but McCann kept on uh, catching him. So that round six goes to Dennis McCann. Round seven, uh, I gave 10-9 to Baluta. Head clash, which, uh, you know, gave Baluta a bit more of a, of a, of the edge going into like the last like minute or so. But I do think Baluta landed the better shots in that round. So round seven goes to Baluta. Round eight, I gave to Baluta. Baluta was landing some great shots in that round, really going after the, uh, Really going after the cut of Dennis McCann looking good. And he was really, and Baluta was coming forward really well in round eight. And like, Baluta was coming forward, um, really well throughout the whole fight, really. So I gave that round to, I gave round eight to Baluta. Then round nine, they had to, uh, then round nine, yeah, they basically had to stop it, um, early. But yeah, that one was a hard round to score round nine. But so yeah, overall, I do think a draw is a fair result. To be fair, overall, that all the rounds were pretty close and hard to score. But I feel like McCann was boxing really well throughout that fight. But the looter, he was really going there, coming forward well, really trying to fully go on and slug that out. So I feel I think it was a really good, interesting fight to watch overall, in my opinion. And when we see a rematch, it's going to be interesting to see. To be fair, I mean. Were people expecting to see Dennis McCann perform a little bit better in that fight? I don't know because, you know, I've watched Baluta many times and he's certainly not someone to, uh, to, you know, uh, uh, to, uh, to rest on, to be fair. He's a very, very, very top fighter. 
uh, to be fair. And if Baluta won, it would not have been an upset, really, because, you know, I know what Baluta can do. He's really, really good. But, I mean, McCann, you know, people are saying, oh, yeah, his level's above Baluta and stuff. Which I don't, which wasn't really the case. I do think that McCann does need to take the rematch, and there are, and I do think McCann does need to box a little bit better because I do think he kind of was, you know, he kind of was going into a little bit too much of a slugfest, in my opinion, trying to play into Baluta's game. Uh, and, you know, Baluta, I think, you know, did some really good work when McCann was on the ropes. But overall, I think McCann boxed really well. He was timing himself really, really well, but just got hit too much. And he, and there was just a, a bit, he showed a good shin, but he reacted a bit too much, uh, in my opinion. Uh, and, you know, trying to slug it out, go into Baluta's fight a bit more. But, you know, McCann just needed to stay a bit more calm, stick to the boxing more. And I do think that in, in in the rematch, I think McCann really needs to focus on trying to outbox Baluta. Don't engage too much with him. And today, I think McCann was engaging a little bit too much with Baluta, in my opinion. And it was a very close fight. He was getting hit too much. And, you know, like, Baluta's a top fighter as well. But he doesn't hit hard. He's not a power puncher, Baluta. And if McCann takes you know, those kind of punches off of anyone else in that division, like, I don't know, like Liam Davis or someone like that, then he's, then he's going to get knocked out. It's as simple as that. He get, he got hit way too much. So no, it wasn't exactly a great performance from McCann, but he is drumming up the levels. You are going to get performances like that from, uh, from someone when you are moving up the levels. You're not going to get your best of performances, but I do feel like McCann should take that rematch. It was a draw. Of course he should anyway, because if he won, I don't think he, he would have taken the rematch. So I do think overall, this is kind of a blessing in disguise from McCann can because he because he does get to go at it again and he can put on a better performance i know he can i know dennis mccann can put on a good boxing performance i think the rounds today he made them too close stick to the boxing don't engage with baluta keep your chin low uh, and i think you know overall ability wise mccann's better than baluta baluta wasn't really working his angles well mccann was mccann's got good solid footwork but i feel like you know I feel like Baluta showed a solid gas tank uh, today, to be fair. And I didn't expect Baluta's gas tank to hold out for that long, to be fair. Dennis McCann showed a decent gas tank. But yeah, overall, good, really good fight. Really entertaining fight, to be fair. Uh, I wasn't, I, I mean, I was expecting a good fight, but I didn't expect it to be as entertaining as it actually was. So great fight from both guys. Fair play. Both guys definitely deserved um, a draw out of that, in my opinion. Uh, to be fair, and I do think it's definitely a blessing in disguise for Dennis McCann, and you could also say it is for Baluta as well, because they both get to go again, and it's a blessing in disguise for us fans as well, because we get to see the fight again, um, and I'm really looking forward to the rematch, hopefully it does happen, and I do think both guys need it. Anyway, thanks for watching, if you're okay, I'll speak to you on the next one, thanks for watching, peace out.